Welcome back. Thanks for coming to see the sequel to what was already an exciting talk about this new product called Dermaphage CA. One of the things that we decided to follow up with was to do a clinical study on the efficacy of this product. And we were very confident of the safety of it going into the clinical because of a lot of cytotoxicity testing we did on monolayers of human skin cells, as well as in the tissue model where we actually saw that the phage cocktail improved the skin health with its presence. So here we did a clinical study where the phage were applied to the skin of people that had a blemished skin condition. One of the things that we tracked was sebum levels. Sebum is typically produced excessively in cases of acne vulgaris. We also tracked a type of fluorescence known as coproporphyrin 3 fluorescence. Why is that significant? That is one of the natural byproducts of C. acne, the bacteria that contributes to blemish prone skin. So we wanted to see if that level of fluorescence diminished with time. And one last thing that we tested was whether or not this was truly microbiome selective, and I'm gonna get into that towards the end. So in a finished formulation, our phage material was applied to the skin of a series of participants in this study and it was tested at baseline and seven days post-application, just one week. And at that one week mark, we saw a 30% reduction in sebum levels on the skin of most of the participants. Additionally, when we looked for that fluorescence, we had some beautiful images that came up, and here is one where we actually saw a 20% reduction in C. acne-associated fluorescence. That was quite remarkable but probably one of the best corroborating results was we tested to see if the genome levels of detectable C. acne on the skin before and after application of our product was changed. So the skin was swabbed before application and it was swabbed again after the seven day regimen. And what we found was a 25% reduction in detectable C. acne genomes. That 25% corroborated nicely, that 20% reduction in fluorescence. But one more important finding that came out of this is that we also looked at the levels of other bacteria that could be detectable in, by genomic sequencing on the skin. And all of them barely fluctuated. So we could definitively say that this is a microbiome selective treatment. But when you think about the abundance of phage in nature, its applications are limitless. And here at Biocogent, we are excited to, to explore all of their potential for applications for skin health. So what I would encourage you to do, please visit our website, check out all the links that are available on there. Maybe go to our YouTube channel, click a like, subscribe, and you can stay up to date with all the new scientific innovations that are occurring here at Biocogent.